So this is going to be a very basic demonstration of using Texture Paint in Blender version 2.78 to basically be able to paint straight onto your object. So I'm going to start by making a new document and straight away I'm going to create a plane and press S on the keyboard to scale that up a bit. I'm going to create another plane and drag that upwards a little bit and scale that one up. Um, I'm going to change the uh, render mode to cycles and with this plane up here selected I'm going to come over here and apply a material to it and I'm going to set it to be an emission material and if I um, change the viewport shading to rendered I can see that lighting up the scene and I can also turn up the strength. So I'm basically just making a light to light things up a bit there. Now I'm going to switch this back to the material mode and I'm going to right click on my cube to select it and drag it up a little bit. And I'm also going to zoom in a little bit. In my case, I'm on a Mac and I just press the control key. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the texture paint mode and I'm going to click on this button here to add simple UVs and then click on this button here to add a paint slot and then I'm going to select diffuse color. Now you may want to increase the resolution a bit here but for the sake of this demo I'm just going to click OK. Now if I select a color here and paint it on my object nothing happens and I'm going to go down here and select the node editor. Now I'm just going to drag this node up here and I'm going to press control on the keyboard to zoom in a little bit or quite a bit I should say and I'm just going to drag this one across to here and so now I, you can see that I'm able to paint on my object. So another thing you may want to try doing is I'm just going to make a new window here and I'm going to put it onto the UV image editor. Now I can click on this little drop down here and select that material. And if I click on this button here where it says view and select paint, I can also paint directly onto my object as well. And so that's something you may also want to try. And so now I'm just going to I'll just move that across a little bit more. I'll come down a little bit and um, I'm going to switch it back to object mode and switch it to rendered. And so there you can see I was able to paint um, a texture onto my object. And that's it pretty much.